device that I'm going to show you today is the non-VME card. So non-VME, uh, basically, it's a non-VME chassis with an ME card. This non-VME chassis and the ME card that's connected to this non-VME chassis I can uh, basically accommodate only one card because it's a non-VME chassis. So there is no connections on the green PCB board inside here for extra cards. So, so there's only one card in this chassis and this card in this case is the Westac D20 ME versus what we've seen in the D200 which is the Westac D20 ME2 card. The, the difference between the ME and the ME2 is that the ME2 allow for RS-485 and the serial ports yet the ME is only uh, RS-232 communication. Again, there is accommodation for extra ports if required and when this is sitting in your substations, just so that you can recognize it easily, um, it could, there could be uh, blanking plates sitting on top to cover the unused uh, areas if, there is, if it's not utilized. And there will be a power supply, right? This power supply, of course, it's, it's, a, it's a removable power supply. It has fuses, has a, a switch to turn on, turn off the D20 uh, ME uh, chassis components, one of which is this CPU. <laughs> From the back, because this is a non-VME chassis, there is no ribbon cable connected. It has two D20 connections for the peripherals, and uh, we have seven serial ports and one West Main port. Okay, so in summary, this is a non-VME chassis with one CPU that's mounted uh, horizontally.